Parramatta were making their first appearance under caretaker coach Brad Arthur. And with Ricky Stewart's confirmation as the new man in charge from next season onwards, he knew he'd only have six games at the helm. There'd be no better way for the rookie mentor to make an impression in his short stint than by toppling Brisbane at Suncorp Stadium. And the Eels received an early shot in the arm when their pressure on Peter Wallace paid a handsome dividend. The kick charged down, Nathan Smith has it, and Parramatta had the first try. What a good piece of play. Set up by the strong defence. With more than 600 games worth of experience sitting idle in the stands, the Broncos required a similar slice of good fortune to the one that Parramatta just enjoyed. It goes to Norman, he rubbers, looked in for the end goal area and he'll find it. Norman's control of the ball was good enough to satisfy video referee Chris Ward. However, the Broncos didn't get the right response from the man upstairs on their next visit to that end when Ben Hannett interfered with the Eels' defence. What transpired after that let off may well qualify as the most astonishing period of play in season 2012. Hindmarsh, a good ball, keeping it alive. Justin Poor is out there, backing his way towards the line and scoring for Parramatta. Parra were providing the perfect illustration of how a side with nothing to lose can be especially dangerous. He gives it, Sando, he goes for the line, Chris Sando! It is all Parramatta! Then on the second tackle after Sando's try, Arthur's army were on the march once more. And here comes Parramatta again, it's an old fashioned carver, Chase Blair goes past Capewell, they will chase but they can't catch them! Straight. The Eels had all of a sudden become electrified. And if you didn't know any better, you'd swear that Sterling, Kenny, Ella and Growth were back in blue and gold. Leaving in traffic. Mulaney going all the way. Mulaney had the ball knocked down. Confirmation came from the video booth that the ball had been stripped by Brisbane fullback Luke Capewell. And Luke Burt was the beneficiary, giving Parramatta their fourth try in 12 amazing minutes and a half-time scoreline of 30 to 6. The Broncos were booed off as they headed to the sheds and they returned with redemption on their minds. Norman out the back. He gets in Luke Cape, but they need to take a look at this one. There was a suggestion of an obstruction. No, they're happy with it. Tony a... a couple of sets later, the home side took another chunk out of their deficit. Is it quickly though, McCulloch taking the ball. The Eels decided that the best way to cope with Brisbane's second half resurgence was to fight fire with fire. Paulo showing it, runs behind Manor, gives it to Sando, he gives it to Philly! Philly, Philly, they can't stop him this time! The difference was back to 18 and the embarrassed Broncos had to keep peppering Paris' defence. And it's Hunt who has the last play option, he puts it in the air, a chance out wide! Chasing what would have been one of Rugby League's biggest ever comebacks proved too much for Brisbane though, and it was the underdogs who deservedly had the last word. He runs towards Beale who is back there, at fullback he puts a skip on, Sando, Chris Sando! He goes all the way! Sando's second try took Parramatta to the 40 mark. And while the Broncos have some soul searching to do in the days ahead, the jubilant Eels can look forward to the future with plenty of optimism. David Rowlands, Big Pond Sport. Watch exclusive NRL videos on your mobile with the 2012 NRL iPhone app. Download it now for free at the App Store.